Good morning and welcome to June's Yoga and it's going to be shower yoga number two. I did notice it is actually raining outside so if you'd like to take this yoga outside and do shower yoga please feel free to do so. Otherwise it's another few tips and things you can use when you have got time to yourself which may just be those few minutes that you go into the shower. But first of all, again, as in yesterday, turn on the water. It's not quite up to temperature. Just take a few moments with your feet nice and wide apart and bring those arms up above your head. As you touch fingertips, just use this as a little bit of a sway. Sideways stretch, bamboo, swaying in the wind and just feel that wonderful sideways stretch coming up through the side of the body. Exhale as you go down, inhale to come up a few of those sideways and just release stress and tension and then bring your arms down again, place your hands on your waist and soften the knees a little bit and then practice your hula hoop. So these two can just be a little bit of a warm up while the shower temperature is becoming just right the way you like it. So just gently rolling around those hips as we do in hula hooping and even a figure of eight. So you just start moving gently to the rhythm as you go round and round and release and then step yourselves into the shower. So when yesterday we focused on back bends and expressing ourselves by opening and changing the shift and lifting the heart, today is actually more about closing forwards and moving into a forward bend. So the one I want to show you today is when you're inside the shower, take your feet apart, make sure you're grounded and steady extend by lifting up through the spine and gently folding forwards, placing your hands just above the knee. All I'm inviting you to do here are some belly rolls and what I want to explain is that as you breathe normally in and out you're actually going to stop the breath when you've just got a little bit of air left in your lungs so stop about halfway through the breath and just pause there enough time to pull the belly in and up and then release it down again. Now one round of that may be enough but you could breathe normally in between times and then pull up again, roll the belly over and release it back down again. So pulling up and rolling over, pulling up and rolling over, all whilst you're not breathing. So again go very gently, one cycle may be enough and then breathe normally in between. The joy here of doing it in the shower with your back to the shower is that all that water is sprinkling along your spine, along your back. You feel warm, you're flexible, your muscles are stretching and then breathe in and come up. Well done. The next one whilst you're still in the shower is again feet nice and wide apart, feel grounded, clasp your hands behind your back and push them down. Now take those shoulders back and away from you and soften those knees and then just see how far forward you can come by lifting your arms up behind you. It doesn't have to be far and you don't have to be pushing yourself to limits. Enjoy the shower, enjoy the warm water. And when you're ready to release, you can stay in this slightly crouched position. Give yourself an extra little stretch here in chair pose and then come up to standing and release. So there's your shower yoga for today. And when you step out, make sure you take care, wrap yourself up cozy and warm, feel yourself embraced and just reaching up to the sky, bring those palms together back down in front of your chest. I wish you a glorious day, namaste.